All right, in this, in this problem, they ask us a fancy word, and this is a cool math word. They say, which set has shapes that are congruent? Now, congruent means something simple. It means that something is exactly the same as something else, but we moved it, like we moved it somewhere else. That's what it means. So let me give you an example, somewhere else. So again, congruent means we have something, let's say a shape like this, like a circle. Now if I take this shape and I copy it and paste that, now this sh these shapes are the same. What's the only difference? They're in different spots. Same thing here, they're congruent. They're the same but in different spots. If you put them on top of each other, they're basically just the same exact shape in the same spot. But as soon as you start moving them around, right? You've changed something, they're in different spots, but they're still the exact same circle. So our word for that in math is called congruent. So these two shapes are congruent because they're exactly identical, except they're in different places. So all of these ones right here, there's only one choice that works. For example, we can cross out B. Yeah, they're both triangles, but this triangle is too small. It's smaller than this one right here. So they're not congruent. They could be similar, like the same type of triangle and stuff, same angles, but they're different sizes. Same thing with C, right? This side is smaller than that one. They're not congruent. D, they look so much alike, don't they? But if we should count the number of sides that these kind of shapes have, or we can call them edges if we're being fancy. So one, two, three, four, five, six sides here, but the other shape just has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, just like a stop sign, right? So here, these two aren't the same. They're not congruent. So the only choice is A. And you can see that with all they did here was take this original shape and then turn it to get this shape over here. They're the same shapes, just moved or turned in different spots. And that's what congruent means. So you should know that word. Thanks a lot.